Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. This is Dr. Bass and today we will discuss about the USB port in my brand new Tesla Model 3 Highland 2024. And so today we will discuss about the maximum power we can get from the USB-C port that the Tesla have. Uh, in this area, inside this area and on the back seat here, there's two port right here. So what I will do is I will uh, use my uh, task cable that uh, can measure the uh, power with a little display here. They are quite accurate. I have measured that already. And I will use uh, diff two different loads. Uh, the first load will be um, my laptop computer that uh, will uh, need to be recharged. And the second load is these resistors that I will use, in fact, with this, what it's called, it's uh, called a, a decoil board. So this little board will communicate with the USB and tell the USB port which voltage it desire because, uh, in fact, the USB-C port are quite different. It's like a uh, level 3 charger for EV. It is the EV that tell the charger what kind of voltage and current and power it can take. So this board is set to get uh, 20 volt, uh, actually, with a little dip, dip switch here. And I will use these resistors here. These are one ohm resistors collected in series. And I will use seven of these for a total of seven ohm to get about uh, 60 watt at uh, 20 volt. That is the maximum voltage these USB-C port are providing. So, without uh, waiting uh, uh, anymore, I will first connect um, the um, USB uh, power from the back seat here, where the screen here, just here. And I will connect the other uh, end to my laptop for charging. So right now, I will connect it here, and you will see the display. Alright, so what kind of power we're getting here. So we have 15 watt and it's uh, slowly updating but 17, 15 and uh, it's like it's uh, beginning slowly and then oh yeah boom 56, 55, 54 watts, oh 60 watts so we have 58 to oh yeah 58 watt so in the other direction you will see all right yeah about uh, 55 to 60 watt that I've got so with this one connected I will then connect uh, this one uh, so what I will do is I will connect you see the decoil board is already connected and the resistor so I will connect this one in the center console here and I will hope that I will be able to show you the maximum. So, oh yeah, 67 watt directly. So I have 67 watt from this port while I'm still having 56 or 57 watt from this port. So, that is a good news in fact, because that means that uh, these two ports, or at least two of the uh, USB-C port inside the Tesla Model 3 Highland 2, uh, 2024 can provide a total of 126, 130 watts about. So in the uh, Tesla manual, it is specified that we can use uh, at the same time two ports for 65 watts or three ports for about 42 or 40 watt uh, each so I think that it means that you can use these at the same time and this is what I've tested today so that means that we with the USB-C port uh, we can get about the 120 to 130 watts at the same time and without damaging the Tesla because uh, it's made for that so you have at least 130 watts and the good news is that if you combine that power with the power that we normally have right here so there's a 12 volt uh, socket here uh, the accessory socket I'm not sure if you can see it right here yeah there is a 12 volt here so 
that is a 12 volt uh, socket. Uh, well, this is not 12 because in the 2024, there's the uh, 16 volt, 16 volt battery, which is a lithium ion battery uh, that is uh, providing about a 15.5 volt at up to 12 amp. So uh, this socket and the Tesla manual, it's uh, indicated to be a 12 amp continuous or 15 amp burst. That is about 185 watts that we can get. So that is another source of power. So that is very interesting because you can have two source for a total of about 100 and, uh, or 300 watts total. So of DC power uh, without uh, modifying your Tesla. So that is very good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to have uh, other video like that. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.